This is how to make the sharp shooting 7 foot stretch 5 center build that will break NBA 2K23. Subscribe, please. All right, so right here in the builder, obviously, for your position, you're gonna wanna go with center. We are, after all, making a stretch five build. And then after that, for the body settings, you're gonna wanna go seven foot two, 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 and seven foot two for your wingspan. In my opinion, being seven foot gives you a perfect balance between shooting, defense, and also a good amount of speed. And having a seven foot two wingspan is very important. I'll explain why a little bit later. All right, so moving on to the attributes, kicking things off, we're gonna go up to an 86 for the driving dunk. This is gonna give us gold limitless takeoff, which is a very very important badge when i show you guys a little bit of gameplay you guys will see how overpowered this badge really is for your staying dunk you're gonna want this at a 90 this will give you gold rise up as well as elite big man contact dunks this build's gonna get three very good contact dunk packages pro and normal big man contacts as well as elite big man contacts which means you're gonna be catching contact dunks left right and center on a stretch five center build to get a few more badges we're gonna go ahead throw up our post control up to an 80 this is just gonna allow us to post control a little bit also make sure your driving layup is at a 66 and go ahead and leave your close shot at a 57. You're gonna get 20 total finishing badges, which is very, very solid. Now right here, I got you guys with a few little gameplay clips. You guys see right here, the standing dunk is coming in clutch right there. If we didn't have standing dunks and we didn't have rise up, but we just went up with a layup instead, that's 100% getting swatted. I only played a few games and I don't have badges, but you can 100% get contact dunks on this build, which is of course very, very nice. Makes this build incredibly hard to guard. But what I like even more than that when it comes to finishing is just the limitless takeoff dunks. If you combine gold limitless takeoff with the quick drop-offs off of one package, it's just honestly absolutely unblockable. And there's a little fillet right there. Also, these are the badges I pretty much recommend running with. Now, just showing you guys clips to make this build seem good is one thing, but nah, I gotta give you guys a whole gameplay. You know what, first game, I was just hit him with a hawk back three-player, bang! Actually, you know, this build comes with very good finishing. Let me just show it off real quick. Easy standing. All right, it's like you're just leaving me for ones in green, bro. I have like a 94 three-pointer with boosts. All right, so now for shooting, guys, and pretty much see, you're gonna get an 89 three-point rating and 21 total shooting matches. And an 89 three-point rating gives you gold agent threes. This is honestly just so busted. Like genuinely, when it comes to shooting fadeaways, or when it comes to hop jumpers, or when it comes to even spin jumpers, it's uh, it's green every single time. And also, since your seven foot is literally just impossible to contest you, like being able to have absolutely insane shot creating while being seven foot is honestly so overpowered. It's honestly insane. And with an 89 three point rating, bro, like I'm just not missing on this build whatsoever. Like I actually took a fade right here, and it's still green. Everything is green. Like, bro, honestly, at this point, someone tell them to play up on me. Also, if you didn't know that gold agent three badge applies to literally all shots off the dribble not only like spin jumpers and pull up jumpers but also just like stop and pop shots you guys see right here i'll saw my jump shot and a few shot creating animations on the screen right now definitely would 100 recommend equipping also you guys can see my shooting badges pretty much right here i would recommend throwing three of your plus four into shooting that way you guys can get silver dead eye once i get all my shooting badges bro i'm just not missing what's crazy is that he's probably just gonna leave me open again like where are you going bro green again this build can really do everything. Shoot middies, threes, dribble, get contact dunks, or just like weak one-handers as well. How did that just go in? Speed, speed, speed. It's too easy, bro. Genuine, like, how do you guard this build? If you play too high, I'll just drive right past you. If you're playing too low, I'll just fade in the corner and cream that. Bro, I released that ball out of bounds and it's still green. And y'all really just thought that was a one-off. Like, I'm about to do it again. Green. Now, when it comes to playmaking on this build, obviously you are a center build, so this isn't super, super important, but I did want to be able to dribble. But first, of course, we cannot forget about the passing, which I'm going to put up to a 75. This gives you pretty much all the good passing styles, which is very, very important. I would recommend going up one more rating if you're playing Pro-Am or Rec Center, because that will give you gold break starter. But me personally, I mostly stick to stage or park. Then for the ball handling, I pretty much put this up to a 65, and then for this field ball, I put this up to a 63. This pretty much just gives me a little bit of dribbling, not too, too much dribbling, but you definitely can dribble on this build. You do kind of have to know what dribbling animations to use and kind of how to use them, but the dribbling on this build can be kind of crazy. I know it's a brown shirt, but this fake hot pack is so deadly. Like, what are you jumping at? You guys pretty much see my playmaking animations right here. That Giannis Antetokounmpo crossover is honestly insane. Also, here are my playmaking badges. Oh, little sidestep. No, what? What? Nah, this kid might be him. Nah, like, how do I guard this kid? Like, I'm getting torched. Nah, bro, you're reaching the wrong direction. Step back, corner three, you bang. Genuinely, I, I just green everything. And he thinks I'm gonna shoot again, so it's just an easy dunk for me. 
For defensive slash rebounding, make sure you get that 93 block rating. That way you can get gold anchor. Honestly, being seven foot and having gold anchor is really all you need. Like nobody's gonna be dunking on me. My rim protection is honestly crazy. For the defensive slash rebounding, I pretty much threw this up to an 85 and threw up our offensive rebound to a 63. Rebounding is not necessarily quite as crazy as I would necessarily want it, but Silver Rebound Chaser does do the job in Rec Center. Although, as I said earlier, I don't play a ton of Rec. I've only played like five, six games on this build. Then, pretty much for the steal rating, we're going to throw this up to a 61. For the perimeter defense, we're going to put this up to a 55. And then for the interior defense, we're pretty much just going to leave this at a 63 right here. Really no reason for us to move this up. In total, you're going to get 22 total defensive slash rebounding badges, and pretty much you can just do absolutely everything also this build is kind of quick and able to move around very very easily which obviously helps with perimeter defense a ton and also helps with passing lane steals and a box a ton since you can get into very good position to either contest the shot or getting passing lane steal and pretty much the same thing goes for rebounding especially long rebounds obviously i was playing one-on-one -on -one, so i don't have a ton of defensive clips you guys see right there hands up defense we're able to contest that shot genuinely this is the only clip i care about like oh my goodness bro oh, bro i just took the ball from him that's crazy. Also, these are pretty much the badges I'd recommend going with. You're gonna get 22 total. You know, bro, we got Edison style spin jumper on the seven footer. Boop, bang. No way, that was too early. No way, bro. That's him. Nah, bro, I didn't even release that correctly. It still went in. Well, just get packed up, I guess, bud. All right, now for me, what I pretty much did for the takeovers, I went with first a limitless range and then second stuff blocks. Limitless range is going to be a very, very fun takeover on this build. And as you guys can see, I built an inside out score. If you guys are on the current gen side of things, this is very quickly how you're going to want to make this build. Same position, same body settings. The only thing that's actually going to change is this how you're going to want to upgrade the build instead. Just a tad bit different. Same takes and subscribe if you haven't done so already.